Okay guys, I'm expecting a major move for the price of Bitcoin on the 13th. There's a particular chart we make contact with a ring on the 12th. So obviously when we cross that ring, that will be the 13th when I expect that major move. Coincidentally, that's when the US stock market opens up. I think the stock market is topped out. Uh, I'm bearish. I think this is going to crash. If you are bullish though, uh, and you're expecting a pump, I do think it is likely to take place on Monday when we cross that ring. I will cover that chart as well as a couple others uh, showing you why I think it's bearish, but why I do think it's very likely when we cross that ring we will have a major move. I will also go over some other Bitcoin charts to give you some price targets. I would like to point out in this video, I am giving away uh, four of these 2020 American Eagle uh, one ounce .99 silver brilliant uncirculated coins. They come in a case and a capsule, never been touched by human hands. All you have to do to qualify is subscribe, leave a like in this video and a comment. And in the next live stream, which I'll be doing Monday morning, uh, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, I'm going to do a live stream while the stock market opens so we can watch what Bitcoin and the stocks do. But I will be using Random Comment Selector to pick the winners that left a comment in this video to uh, get these coins shipped out to you know those winners. So do watch that live stream. Uh, I am on Twitter. Uh, it's, it takes a while to create a video and upload it. So if I see something, it's fast and it's easy just to make a post on Twitter. So do follow me on Twitter. It's Optical Art Chart. The link will be in the description. Uh, these charts are accessible on my website, opticalartcrypto.com. If you just want to access the Bitcoin charts, all coin charts, and my Discord, uh, it's $19 a month. I, I do have other options. Um, I have stocks. I have tutorials. So I have uh, lifetime options. If you would like to pay just one time, you get access to everything. So make sure you click the subscribe and just look at those different options and read the details for each of them. So let's go ahead and get on to the TA. So if you've been following me, this is my uh, Bitstamp uh, yellow ring capitulation chart. Let me go to the four hour here. Every time we cross one of these yellow rings, actually I need to go to the larger time frame here. Every time we cross one of these yellow rings, we have a drop. We cross this one, we drop. We cross this one, we dropped. We cross this one, we dropped twice. We dropped, pushed back up, we crossed it, we dropped. Rode up this yellow ring. Uh, notice that we got topped out uh, three times. We, we peaked up here, we dropped below the ring, came back up. Uh, we were expecting this uh, resistance line here. Came back down, I hit it again, came back down. Uh, we bottomed it down here on this red ring. I think if we do have a much, another major crash, I think uh, this ring will be the point where we will um, potentially bottom. If that does not hold, I think we will potentially hit this ring down below. But I think the same thing is playing out. You can see that we rode up this yellow ring. We, we created some kind of pattern. We got topped out three times here. We dropped, we pushed up. You can see we did get, we rode up this yellow ring. We got topped out three times. We dropped below. We pushed up just a bit above this um, trend line and it looks like we're starting to move back down. Again, I think this is a bearish setup. I think that this is ready to come down. And I'll show you the ring where I think that's gonna take place. That, and again, I think that's gonna happen on Monday. Uh, this, so this is that chart. This is a Coinbase weekly chart. If you have access to the charts, it's under BTC related. So let me get rid of the MACD and the RSI here. If, if you'll notice, let me get rid of the volume too. There we go. So if you, if you see, when, when we cross this white ring, this is all the same FIP circle right here. When we cross this white ring, we, we were moving up this uh, blue ring here, and we were expecting all these FIP channels as well. So we dropped down this FIP channel, found support resistance, dropped down to this FIP channel, pushed back up. Uh, as soon as we came back down, we dropped. This is the 0 .3, uh, 382. You can see we found temporary support here, and as soon as we crossed this white ring, we dropped all the way down to... 3,871, which coincidentally is also the 3865.69, is the one on the Fib retracement. But you can see this next ring right here. As soon as we got to this next ring, we pushed up a total of 20%. So that was a pretty big move when, when we hit this ring. So because price is respecting this ring so well, that's why I'm expecting a major move. We hit this ring, we dropped. We hit this ring, we were at support, so when we crossed it, we had a pump. Notice we pumped right to this uh, this line, this line in this FIB channel right here. This was our resistance. And notice that this line here, you can see this green line in this FIB channel, this was our support. We eventually broke down below that support, and we never actually came back up to test it as resistance because we're respecting this line in this FIB channel. So this makes it seem even more bearish to me. If we do push up, um, I'll give you some price targets, but we are finding resistance right now at around 9,333. If we do push above that, 
Uh, take note that the top, this line right here, that's previously our support, that would become resistance. So if we did get a pump, which I think would be a fake out before a dump, that would potentially be around 9,679 around that area. But this is on the daily. You know, we're right here. This is the 11th. Uh, so actually, we'll cross this ring tomorrow. So you know, again, something could happen as immediately after we cross it, or it could be potentially um, the 13th. But we are right at this ring, about to cross it. So I do expect a major move to happen, and that is based on you know how price has been respecting this this white fib circle going back. If we do have a major drop, I can tell you that you know this is this is a simple fib retracement, just going from our bottom up to our top up here, and you can see how well price is respecting that. It looks like our our support is around 8,869. So obviously, if we drop below that, uh, the golden zone, the 0.618, is right here around 6,400. I think everybody and their mother and their brother will be buying at that point. So if this does have a really major drop, uh, I I will be buying at this point because it'll be self-fulfilling privacy. Everybody will be buying here. So I I don't think we'll be recovering. I, I think if it does drop that far, it will be short-lived. We might catch a bounce, but I'll probably sell when we get to resistance. If we push above it, I'll be waiting for it to start retracing back down, make sure I sell and take my profit, because I do expect this to come down much more. Again, though, if you're bullish, when we cross this ring, it's possible we pump. I'm going to show you why I think it's more bearish, though. You can see we are underneath this line. So when we cross this, we're going to be underneath resistance. So that means when we cross this ring, if we have a major move, it's more likely to the downside. We have resistance above us here. We have resistance above us here. If we do happen to push up um, above this line, that would be more bullish because that means when we cross this, we'll be at support, so it's more likely this pushes up. We would have to get above 9,754, but again, if it does push up, I think your target is likely up here around 11,361. If it drops, um, we'll have to... We'll have some charts up and we'll watch and see what happens. Um, I'd like to also point out this is the uh, Coinbase, uh, I'm sorry, this is the, the CME Futures uh, Bitcoin chart. Now we have some gaps below us. We have a gap at uh, 8,945, we have a gap at 7,665, and we have a gap down here around 3,595. So it just seems more likely that we would come down, fill these gaps, and then start our bull run. Uh, it's more likely, I think, than coming up and testing 11,800. Anything is possible. But what I would like to point out on this chart, uh, this brown flip circle right here, this is, uh, you can see at this ring, we, we pushed up this blue ring. We got topped out. You see resistance ring topped right out, out right at this ring. We hit it three, three, four times, hit it a fifth time, came back down. Notice we came up, we got rejected by this ring perfectly. We, we retraced back up a bit, but I think we're going to stay underneath this ring. So this is a second chart, actually a third chart, that, that makes me think it's bearish and that we'll be coming down. Um, if we look at the Dow Jones, um, and I, I was doing a live stream. Um, if you can go back and watch my previous live streams, we're watching the uh, Dow Jones play out. But, you know, I was telling people, you know, Pay attention to these lines. When I create these uh, charts, you know all these FIB channels, all these FIB circles. You know they're here for a reason. You can see that right here was a lot of support and resistance. Actually, this goes back a good ways. I can probably go back even more. Yeah, all the way back here. You can see that this was a uh, support. This was resistance. Um, right here it was support, support, uh, support and resistance, and we got resistance here. More support and resistance and. Uh, Friday, when, this, when the markets closed, we topped out right here at this same trend line. So this trend line is a lot of resistance. We retraced back down. So I do think it's topped out. I think it's very likely that Monday this will be coming down. And as we know, Bitcoin is correlated with the stock market. So I think when we cross that ring on this chart, this this is the 12th right here. So we, we'll be crossing this tomorrow. And again, I, it could be tomorrow when the big move happens. It could be the 13th. It just seems likely, um, you know, the move will happen when the stock market opens. Remember, COVID cases are spiking. There's a lot of negative, bad news going on. So again, it just the charts show me that it looks bearish. There's more likely we crash. All the things that are going on in the world. It just down seems more likely. But again. I'm leaving it. This is an option. It is very possible we cross this ring and we just shoot straight up. But you will have to get above 9,728, and then you you'll have a lot of resistance up here. This has proved to be a lot of resistance and support going way back. I mean, this this goes back. I mean, I I could go back to 2014. 
So again, this is uh, this is a lot of support and resistance. So if we did push up, you know, if, if we got a major pump, that would be a resistance up here around 11,391. So that's it for the more macro. Again, um, I'm I'm just showing you that it looks like the the stock market has topped out. It looks like Bitcoin's ready to come down. Don't forget, every time we cross from these yellow rings, we have a crash. And just because it only took nine days before this first drop here, you know, this could play out a number of ways, but it's very obvious every time we cross I mean it's all the same FIP circle guys every time we cross the yellow ring we drop 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 right up the yellow ring we cross it and we drop we rode up this yellow ring we cross it it's taken a while but I think it's just due to come down so let's cover some uh, some smaller some more uh, micro targets so this is the Kraken chart. Again, I'm just going to go through each one of these charts. Only the Bitcoin charts. Uh, in that live stream, I will cover all coins. We'll uh, we'll do um, we'll, all the Bitcoin charts. We'll cycle through as well as the stocks, and you know we'll do Chainlink, XRP, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash. We'll we'll cover all the altcoins as well. But again, I'm just going to give you targets uh, based on these individual charts. So if we do push up, you can see this blue ring right here has been a lot of support and resistance. So it's very likely if we did get a push up, you would get rejected. Again, this is on the crack. This is according to the Kraken chart. Uh, you would get rejected around 9,386. You also have to keep in mind this line and this FIB channel will be respected. So it's more likely if you push up, you'll get rejected by this line here. So if we're further out here, you potentially get rejected around 9,335. And if we do drop, the next FIB channel line on this chart would be potentially 8,890 to 8,950. This is the uh, Bybit chart. Uh, you can see that we're respecting this FIB circle right here. So if we push up, your target would be around 9,400. Out here would be around 9,354. You can see we're respecting this line in this FIB channel as well. Um, I can go back a bit and see if we've been respecting that. Yeah, you can see we've been respecting this line going way back. And again, when you load the charts up, always look left and see how, how well a price was respecting a particular line in the FIB channel and a ring. And you can see this was a lot of resistance and a lot of support. Right here we got more resistance and support. So you know that if we drop this same line in this FIB channel will be strong support. So if we drop according to the uh, Bybit chart, your first support level, uh, based on this trend line in this FIB channel, is going to be around, uh, right here is 9,061, out here is 9,147. If we push up, your resistance will be this ring, 9,402, potentially 9,339, and you will respect this ring as well. So if we drop past this uh, support level on this FIB channel, you can see every time we hit this ring, it's been support and resistance, so a likely target would be 8,946, um, 8,854, and we are respecting all of these FIB circles, so this could be a potential target as well. This would be around 8,683, and we're respecting uh, this line in this FIB channel as well. Um, you can see this blue line right here. We found um, resistance, resistance, support, support, support. So if we did have a drop, you know, right here is the 13th. So if we had a major drop, you know, you could look at potentially finding support right here, 8,038. This would be around 8,000, where these two uh, lines intersect is around 7,881. So again, it's always good to load up different charts to get an idea of potential um, support and resistance. This is the uh, Bitstamp 702. Um, you can see currently we're finding resistance underneath this uh, line in this FIB channel. Uh, we did, we were finding support, and now we're underneath it as resistance. Um, this is the 13th, so if we did push up, uh, again, same thing, just always zoom out of a chart and look and see if price is respecting that line. And if it is, you, you get pretty sure it's going to respect it again. You can see we found um, resistance and support on it. And then right here, we came up as perfect resistance, respecting this, uh, this ring as well. Moved down, came back up, found perfect resistance again, pushed back down. So if we push up, uh, likely resistance level 9,353. You can see how some of these numbers are matching up with the other charts, other exchanges. Right here would be around 9,385. Uh, if we have a drop, uh, again, these FIB channel lines just look left, but if we have a drop, a potential target at 8,971, uh, 9,021, we'll be respecting these rings as well, but your next FIB channel line below is around 8,774. Again, I'm just trying to blow through these really quick. Uh, this is the Binance 2.0 chart. You can see we've been respecting. Um, we haven't come up and tested. Actually, let me go back a bit. 
so we were we have been respecting this white fib circle you can see that we've been respecting um, you know we pushed we pushed all the way up we, we pushed we wicked up we came back down and found perfect resistance at this white ring um, and we created a BART we dropped back down and you can see we find a lot of support and resistance on this white ring pushed up didn't quite make it to this ring came back down as perfect support perfect resistance and then you see we, we wicked all the way up to this line in this FIB channel. Again, these FIB channels are very accurate for um, tops and bottoms. And we, we wicked right back down to this, this ring. And then we pushed back up to this line, this resistance. We, we were finding support on this ring. Drop below it. You can see this next ring down. Again, this is the same FIB circle right here. And you see as soon as we drop down, we found resistance. Came down to support, uh, more support. Drop below it. So we've been respecting um, this ring right here. So we drop down, support, support and resistance. Uh, we haven't dropped that low on this ring yet. We have been respecting this ring as well. This was, again, this is where we pushed up as support, uh, more support, and we fell through, we dropped. So it's very possible um, if we do push up, you know, if, if you're respecting these rings below, you're going to respect the ring above. So if we did push up according to this chart, your resistance is around 9,415. Out here is 9,350. If we drop, uh, your support is going to be not only this ring, but this FIB channel line as well. So this would potentially be 9,054 to nine, uh, this 8,960. Uh, this, this FIB channel line is almost right where the ring's at. So let's just say around 9,000. If you drop below that, your support will be 8,622. So, and that's why it's good to have these charts because if you do have major drops and you see it drops right at a line that was previously strong support, or you know, just at a line in general, um, when if you if you watch these charts play out and, and you see these these moves where you have a pump or a dump, you'll notice you'll come right up to a point. Notice this ring right here. Price has been respecting this as support and resistance. Notice when we pushed up, we got rejected. We got rejected. We wicked above it, but we wicked back down below this ring. So if we did push above this ring right here, your next resistance is around 9,883. That also plays along with some other charts as a potential top. Um, and we'll cover more of this in the live stream on Monday. Uh, this is the Bistamp 2.0 chart. Currently, we're finding resistance at this trend line here. Let me kill this um, this ribbon. So you can see this line has, has proved a lot to be a lot of support and resistance. So we have to get above. I mean, you can see this has been support and resistance going back a good ways. This was uh, resistance, resistance, and it was support, support, resistance. So if we push above. Um, 9,243, your next resistance is right here where we had previous resistance. So if we push up, your next target would be 9,430. Uh, if we drop down, you see we're respecting this um, FIB circle here. So, you know, we, we found support here, we found resistance here. So if we drop straight down, potentially 8,995, let's just call it 9,000. Out here would be around 9,121. Um, and then your next FIB channel line below. And if you go back, you can see price is respecting it. You just have to go back further. But again, these FIB channels are based on previous FIB channels. That's how I know that price will respect these on the way down and the way up, even if they have not been tested yet. So your next support below is around 8,813. Down here is around 8,526. This is the Bitstamp BTC 32120A. Uh, you can see that we are riding right down this ring. Uh, we pushed above it, we found support, dropped below. You can see we're respecting this trend line here. Um, and it seems like we're just, again, we're just riding down this ring. So if we stay below this ring, obviously it's going to keep pushing us down. If we push above it, then we'll come up and test this um, resistance at 9,248. This is the Coinbase BTC USD. By the way, I do have a BTC um, Euro. If you. Um, if you're uh, trading in euro, I do have that chart available. So it's a it's a version of this recreated in euro. Uh, you can see we're finding resistance underneath this line right here, and we are currently finding support on this trend line right here. So, and actually this is interesting because I do have a, a. You can see price is respecting this fib circle here. I mean, there's there's not any really big moves that happen, but again, I'm expecting that big move from that ring that I showed you on the Coinbase weekly chart. But you can see we're respecting this blue FIB circle. Um, I don't have it very bright, but you can see when we pushed up, you know, we found support, we found resistance to this blue ring. Uh, we found support resistance to this ring below. Back up resistance to blue ring, came back below. You see we came down almost to this blue ring, back up as resistance. More resistance pushed above. We hit this one to the tick, 
came back down uh, below this ring it was a lot of resistance previously it was temporarily support it was more resistance we pushed above it so and we got topped out right at this ring so we're pretty much bouncing back and forth between the, these, these uh, two blue rings here so if we push above uh, right here which is around 9275 your next resistance will be this blue ring because it's and that's why I say go back and look not only at previous lines and fib channels but rings as well if we continually respect a fib circle a particular ring more likely more than likely when we push up we'll test it again so if we push up your resistance right here is 9390 uh, out here will be 9369 if we drop the blue ring below will be around 8936 out here is 8,892, and we will respect the lines in this FIP channel as well if you have a more significant drop. This is around 8,600. Again, third angles, depends on when you make contact with it. That's why having access to the chart would be beneficial to you. But I will have these charts playing out live um, on Monday on that live stream. This is a BitMEX chart. You see we've pretty much been bouncing back and forth between these lines in this FIP channel. All of these FIP channels are being respected. This blue one was support. This red one was resistance. We came down perfect support on the 0.618. Resistance came down to this next line of this FIP channel. Resistance, support, resistance dropped all the way down here to this one. And we've been bouncing back up and forth. And notice we're, we're respecting this yellow FIP circle. Uh, let me zoom out a bit. You can see that we're respecting every ring in this FIB circle. We came up, we got rejected, we pretty much rode up this ring. It was support, then became resistance. We dropped down to this ring, it was support, became resistance, it became support for just a little bit, resistance, and we dropped down, respecting the lines in this FIB channel. But notice as we pushed sideways, we dropped right to this ring, pushed up, rode up the ring, then after we crossed it, we had a pivot come down, perfect support here. So you can see that price is respecting this FIB channel very well so if we do drop your first uh, support level is 9140 if you drop below that um, you will respect this line in this FIB channel as well this is around 9, uh, 8953 uh, this support will be respected as well this is around 8828 seems like 8800 uh, 9000 to 8800 is going to be a likely support level if we have a, a big drop it's possible we could drop catch temporary support there have a push up and then have another drop um, and that's if you're bearish like me if you push up your resistance level is going to be 9413 out here is 9432 your next resistance above is 9700 and way up here is around 10133 this is a bitstamp ring chart uh, you can see we've been respecting this yellow fib circle it goes way back um, you can see we're finding resistance, we found support, resistance came up as resistance. So if we push up, this is all rings, there's no FIB channels on this Bistant ring chart. But your resistance above is 9,264. Uh, you can see respecting this, um, this, white, this white ring as well. This was support, resistance, perfect resistance, perfect resistance. As soon as we pushed above it, we had a pump. So a likely support level based on this chart is... 8,893 down here is 8,845. We'll respect this yellow ring as well, as well as these um, these purple rings. So again, always just look left to see how price is respecting the FIB channels and the rings, and that gives you a likely target. Uh, this is the Coinbase BTC USD uh, 3.2120A. Uh, this is a ring we are coming up on. This ring is on July 13th. And you can see how well price has been respecting this FIP circle. When I find multiple charts um, that have FIP circles that we'll be making contact with on the same day, that's more confluence for me for a potential big move. You can see right here we had a pivot at this orange ring. We had a pivot at this ring. Price respecting all of these rings inside of this, these, these center rings. You can see this was um, support. This was support. Perfect resistance. This was a pivot. We got topped out here. Drop back as support. Resistance became support. And right here, um, it wasn't much of a move. We kind of came down and pushed up, but we are approaching this next ring. And coincidentally, we make, we make contact with that ring on the 12th, and then we cross it on the 13th. And this ring, it's possible this could push us down. But based on this chart, your next uh, resistance above is 9,359. Your resistance, you will be expecting this uh, line as well. 
So resistance right here is 9,700. Uh, the next Fib channel line up is around 9,942. And if we drop, again, we'll be expecting this line, this uh, ring right here. This is around 8,670, and this line here is 8,532. So that's just some of the Bitcoin charts. I do have other ones. I have the Euro. Uh, Monday during that live stream, we will cover the altcoins uh, as we watch price play out. Don't forget, guys, do uh, leave a subscribe, leave a like, and a comment. Uh, if you want to qualify to win one of these coins, I will pick the winners in that live stream. Follow me on Twitter, Optical Art Chart. I will make posts here. And if you do want to access my charts, uh, the website's opticalartcrypto.com. Uh, the, the website address and my um, Twitter uh, link will be in the description. That's it, guys. Until the next video.